Here in Brogan, here again, your local election candidate for the Letterkenny electoral area. Uh, the elections on the 23rd of May. Irish water has become a huge issue in this election because many people on the doorsteps are very, very concerned about Irish water. This is an issue that I first raised last year at Donegal County Council level. All the assets that we had in Donegal County Council have been handed over to Irish Water. The order was signed on Christmas Day. The manager's order was signed on the 31st of December to hand all the assets of Donegal County Council over to Irish Water. I have had huge reservations about this. Water is a resource that never should be handed over, should not be privatised, because here in Donegal, in a rural county, for example, we have 350 group water schemes. No clarity whatsoever as to what's going to happen in the group water schemes. And even today, there is no clarity who's responsible for the group other schemes. And this government is determined to just release the information on a drip feed. It's not fair and it's wrong. With regards to the water being used, I'm informed that it is a fact that two people in a household will use 50,000 litres of water on an annual basis. We're being told that 30,000 uh, litres of water will be free to the household. So if there's two people in the house, what about the rest of the water? We're not being told exactly per unit what we're being charged. These are the questions that people want answered at the doorsteps. These are the real concerns they have. For business people, this is a huge issue because there's a huge concern because Donegal County Council would have worked closely with the business people in the last number of years when it came to water rates. I think that connection will be gone when it's handed over and now from October there's going to be a billing system coming out. Irish Water, a subsidiary of Onboard Gas, will then take over the billing. I don't believe the same discretion will be there. The same powers that elected members of Donegal County Council had to control the charge, for example, was the role of the elected member. This government has taken that power away. To me, this is a very worrying development. But the fact that there's no accountability to any elected member, and even Irish Water to Donegal County Council, we were informed back in December they would meet us in March. It's now almost the election time. Irish Water never came to meet the elected members of Donegal County Council. Is this what the people expect? Is this accountability? No, it's not accountability. These are the issues that are of huge concern to the householder, to the business people, but to many people in the farmer community as well. This is not what we deserve in a democracy. Irish Water will be, in time, one of the worst decisions ever was made to hand over all the resources and infrastructure that we have to Irish Water. I believe that local authorities and members of Donegal County Council or any other council should continue to control that. A duplication of the services, because we have a huge complement of staff within Donegal County Council with huge knowledge of the network. Were they ever asked what their opinions were in Irish Water? No, they weren't. At no time were they asked. They have the knowledge, they have the experience, but a complete duplication of service was set up when Irish Water was brought about. This is wrong. So it's not too late to turn back. We're now spending hundreds of millions erecting meters for Irish water, when most other EU countries are taking the meters out. A fixed charge would make more common sense. Here in this area, for the last number of years, we have an excellent telemetry uh, service for water conservation, which has worked very, very well. Again, the bottom-up approach wasn't used. This was a top-down. This is a mistake, a huge mistake, and it's going to cost the people on the ground a lot more money because they're going to have to pay for the mistakes of Irish water. Well, you can tell everybody, yeah, you can tell